So it is a, a very, very warm welcome that we say good evening and welcome to Adrian and to Caroline Slater. Good evening, Adrian Slater, and welcome to DFS Crafts. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody having a good time? Yeah. Great. We're going to do some gun dog training. Who's into gun dogs? Yeah. So we're going to start with the puppy guys. This is little Holly. She's just coming up to six months of age. So what we're doing, we're keeping her happy. How do we keep her happy? We keep her happy through motivation. So we're just going to let her have a few retrieves and we're going to take it off her and we're going to play with her again. And she looks really happy. So we're just going to give her a retrieve. Come on, Bill. Give her a big round of applause, please. She's doing well. Of course, this environment totally falls into a gun dog. But anyway, we're going to have a go, aren't we? So we're going to teach her a little sit. Not that she doesn't already know it. So we'll pretend now she's eight weeks old. We've been playing with a paint roller. And we're now going to start teaching her to sit. Just at eight weeks of age. A lot of pups will sit. Don't do nothing till they're six months of age. Let me tell you, what happens at six months of age, you become a teenager. And we, we've all been teenagers, guys. So, we're just gonna get the dog to follow us with a tree, and then sit, sit. Once we get a sit, we can play again. The treat now goes away, guys. Don't use a treat when we're doing our retrieving. So that was nice, we'll sit again. Sit, excellent. Give her the treat this time. Give her a big round of applause, please. She's only a baby. She's doing excellent. So we're going to do a little sit this time. We'll get that treat out again. They're marvellous, these treats, aren't they? Sit. Look at that little head. Sit. So we're going to do a little sit stay. Remember, we don't need to do any recall. The recall you've just seen following the treat or following the paint roll. So we're going to do a sit stay now. Sit. So the most hard, well, one of the hardest things with the Spaniels, keep it still, am I right? So we're going to work on the sit stay. Sit. Sit. We're going to give her the treat for doing it. Let her finish it off. And then we'll give her a retreat. Caught her in the face. Good girl. Good girl. Go on. Excellent. Give her a big round of applause, please. We aren't going to take that retreat yet. Excellent. Sit. So we're going to see if we can do that sit stay now and drop the retrieve. Everybody thinks we want to sit a dog, throw that retrieve from here. Obviously Fido's got four legs and we've only got two, so who's going to win? So always make sure we're in control. So we're going to do the sit and we're going to drop the payroll. We're going to go back to her. As I'm going back to her, I'm blocking her path if she tries to run in. Sit. We're going to stand at the side of her. We're going to give her a good clear hand signal. Get out. And she's on her way. She's coming back. We're going to praise her coming back. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Little darling, we're going to do one more. So this time, sit. Sit. Do it brilliant in a big arena. Sit. You do it better than me. Sit. Sometimes when dogs have done displays over and over again, you think you're training them and they know the score. Holly, sit. Holly, are you there? Anybody home? Sit. Hang on a minute. Sit. Sit. We're going to get that tree out again, guys. We drop the paint roller. We're going to do puppy recall away. Puppy recalls, follow me. Holly, Holly. Sit. Holly, sit. We're going to give her the tree. We're going to get her back to the left hand side and then we're going to send her. Holly, sit. Sit. We're going to introduce a bit of gunfire. That's all you need to do. Remember, rattle them dishes, guys. Get your dog accustomed to noise. So, we're going to send her out. Get out. Let's see if we can finish off on a good goal. Let's see if we can get that sit. Please do it. Please, please. Sit. Sit. Do it, Do it. Oh, Excellent. That's little Ollie. And we're going to move on now to George, who's actually two weeks younger. That was excellent. Go back to your mum. This is our Louise. She's 15 and she trained her. 
Nothing to do with me, guys. Give a big round of applause. So this is George. He's two weeks younger. So we've got a Labrador. If you notice the Spaniel, I didn't tell him on a lead. I wasn't interested about walking a teal. With a Labrador, we need a little bit more control. Yes? So we've got the dog now. Totally focused on Caroline. What was he focused on? Treats. Yeah, so again, we're working on what? Happy dog, happy puppy. You know what, put no pressure on any dog at this stage. Just do a sit, Caroline, with the lead on. Take your paint roller out and throw it forward for him. So, we're going to throw the paint roller forward. We're going to tell him to sit. So, the handbrake is sit. Throw the paint roller. We're going to turn him off. These puppies are doing really well, guys, because they've never, ever been in this environment. We're going to sit in. Remember what does happen when we take the lead off. Lead means what? Freedom. So we're going to take the lead off, but we're going to put that lead back on so we've still got that control. So just whip it off, God, put it back on. Excellent. And if you notice, George isn't whipping his head out, is he? He's nice and polite. His manners are really good. So we're now going to give him a good clear hand signal. George is on his way. And let's see how we do our presentation. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. So, we're going to move on now. And we're going to see if we can walk this puppy a teal without a lead. Which, we're not six months of age now. Caroline's doing well. We've got the same concentration. She's now introduced the whistle, which obviously means sit. So, one pip on the whistle is the same as the sit command. So how we do that, guys, is we sit, whistle, sit, whistle. And then the dog understands exactly what's asked of it. So we're going to walk on. See if you can walk on and then blow it and carry on. Oh, give him a round of applause. That was excellent. So, we're going to see if we can throw this paint roller out. If you look how we've got the fence, we're using the fence to keep the dog on a straight line. Eventually, we'll use that fence to jump. But at the moment, it's keeping Fido on a straight line. So nice sit and break on for all the paint roller. We're now going to turn him off. You can do left turns, right turns, whatever suits. Because obviously, when the gun comes out, you'll step left, you'll step right. So that's nice. Send him when you're ready. Excellent. Brilliant. Let's see if we can get the same presentation. Can we? Go on, George. Yes! Brilliant, guys. Thank you. So, I've waited months for this. Right, walk you on. We're going to walk you on, we're going to do one more. And then we're going to bring Flynn in. That will be a lot. Right, start with the sit. Right, we're going to throw the paint roller out, we're going to do a six stay this time. So what we're doing all the time is making the dog use his head or memory to remember where these retrieves are. And the older the dog gets, which you'll see later, the longer the more retrieves we put out. And of course the dog's using his brain as a memory. Right, turn him round. So we're going to turn him off at first, that's dead important. Because what you've done now is brought that barrier between him and the paint roller. We're using paint rollers too, I didn't go, in, go into that. Paint rollers are dead tight inside, nice little bit of fur on them, and they don't weigh anything. So puppies don't have a problem picking them up. Right, leave it. So we're gonna leave it. So now we're into a few seconds, aren't we? So he's having to remember. Caroline's gonna do a uh, recall. Sit. Now see if you can do your left. Get it back at heel. Oh, we've been practicing. Right. Send him for the retreat. Good clear hand signal. Excellent. George is on his way. Can we finish on a good note? Come on, George. Fantastic. Brilliant. The only trouble when man and wife do training together, I can never find me dummies. Right, we're going to bring Flynn on. You're going to enjoy this. I'm not. When I started training Flynn, I had plenty of them. 
Right. So, Flynn, this is a little bit bigger, isn't it? What do you want to do? Smell the, smell the cover? Yeah, right. Right, we're going to whip that lead on. So now, we're going to introduce the whistle correctly. The only people really who do the whistle correctly are the sheepdog guys. And that's because with a sheepdog, the dog focuses on the livestock and not on the, pe on the person. Yeah, check everything out. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, one of them sniffer dogs from her ear. <laughs> Sit. Sit. So, first of all, remember, introduce the sick whistle. Sick whistle. Now, a lot of people, in fact, everything we've seen tonight is about movement, isn't it? Body language. We all use, when we're using our hands, we talk with our hands. So, of course, Fido is used to everything we do. In fact, they're better at reading body language than we are. So, I'm just going to show you quickly that we can call a dog, stop it, call a dog, stop it, without saying anything. Please get it right. <laughs> so, uh, 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 uh. you can do that bit in a minute. See? So, of course, when we're using the whistle. What do we want? We want to motivate, don't we? So we're going to use that whist uh, the whistle now as a positive, not as a negative. A lot of people in the training use it as more of a, oh, do as you're told, where it should be. And something exciting happens. Straight away, final, whoa, something's gone. Yeah, so we're going to make him a little bit steadier first. So. Three reasons a dog should stop, guys, a gun dog. It should stop if a shot goes off. It should stop if you tell it to stop, either with sit or whistle. And it should stop if something moves. So we're going to call Flynn back now, and we're going to see if he'll stop when I throw this payroll and just straight past it. Excellent. Give her a big round of applause. Thank you. So we're going to work again on the whistle. Remember what we've just done, body language. I can call the dog without saying anything. So what we don't want to do is use body language when we're using the whistle. So we're just, uh, first of all, we're just going to do a little bit of body language. I think my microphone's going to be a bit uh, guys. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to see if we can call him back.
So we're going to throw one to the right, and we're going to throw one to the left. Now, of course, when you're doing this with a puppet, you'd introduce it one at a time. But I know Flynn can do it. So the idea is he has a right-hand signal and a left-hand signal. So we're through that one first, so we're going to send him right. Get up. It's a good, clear-hand signal. Brilliant. Give him a big round of applause, please. Thank you. You. Flick. Flick. So we're just going to finish off now. We're going to throw one to the right. Sit. And we're going to tell him, leave that and pick the one to the left. So obviously the dog's understanding what we're off to. Get up. Good clear hand signal. Brilliant. Come back. Sit. Brilliant, never mind. Right, so one of the last things what can happen on a shooting day is when the dog's retrieving something, something else gets shot. And of course what a lot of dogs do is they drop the one they've got in the mouth and go and pick something else. So let's just see what Flynn does. Flynn, heel, sit, get out. Bye. Flip. Sit. Thank you. That's Flynn finished. So we're just going to bring Superstar in. We're going to bring Rosie in. So, Flynn, come on, lad. Give her a big round. Sit. 
So we've got the distraction down there. We know what the one in the right hand corner. So we're going to try and send her, stop her, put her over the fence, and then put her over the second fence. Let's have a see what happens. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You was doing it. I suppose if you're going to finish off, you're better, have, you're better having your best mate with you. So I've got Caroline with me, and I could do with Bo, Louise. We need a Labrador, because we've got some hard retrieves. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Sit. Everybody have a quick look at Bo. Dogs take after their orders. Because he's a good-looking lad, isn't he? Yeah? But of course he's Caroline, so it doesn't matter. He'll. So... Let's see what we can find, Caroline, as we go down here. Bo, come here. I know you've not been in this arena before. Sit. Let's get the right one out. There's Freddy the Pheasant. Are we ready? Who's going to do the hunting? Who's going to do the hunting? So, of course, as you're hunting, you always seem to find something in some bushes. So let's see what happens. Bo. Bo. Find it. Lost. Where is he? Where is he? 
Where is he? Sit, you do run it. Oh, we did well. So we've got a pheasant in front, and we've got a rabbit, all flipping put down. Yes, sir, brilliant. In the left hand side. So we're going to tell Bo, the Labrador, to leave that and see if we can pick the rabbit. Bo, back. Back.
These little caps are really off. Are you ready? Off we go. Rolls. What, you still think there's someone in there? You. For a last, we're going to put her over the fence. Excellent, that's better, that's better manners. Before we do this last retreat. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say something I should? Right, I would like to thank the Kettle Club for asking us to do this. Absolutely marvellous. 